what's going on everybody welcome back i am jb and i'm back with another video dealing with these here dreadlocks celebrating guys four years locked up baby um actually it's been four years for a couple of months it started back in february and made it four years officially and as far as being freeform locks it'll be four years sometime in august or september is where i would have decided to do freeforming where I'm basically uh, just not maintaining the roots so Hey, here we are, baby. Four years, and this is how the locks are doing. Um, still looking good. Still doing good. Um, I did notice from the last video where I gave an update uh, a few months ago, dealing with the three-year update, um, with our three-year free-forming, I noticed I had an edge up back then, um, let my hair grow, and here we are in the front. So this is what happens when you get an edge up, and then don't get one for a couple of months. <laughs> The hair just starts, you know, growing back and forming baby locks. So <laughs> that's what happens. So I've ha I've made an executive decision that I'm just probably not going to do any more edging in this area. Um, so um, eventually, these little baby locks will link with the other locks behind it, and you know that'll be good from there. But I'm gonna talk about this one here. You see how it has some build up right there. Yeah, that's some build up that got in there when this was combining. So I've been working with that recently, trying to take care of that. Um, so process. What's going on, everybody? Real quick, just want to come back at the end of this video. Um, it's another day. I had my wash day and I washed my hair and paid extra attention to this spot that I was showing you guys over here. And as you see, all the buildup that I was saying was there, it's gone, it's washed out now. So yeah, I was a little concerned with it, but I was like, you know, it's build up, but it's all clean now, just brown and black. There we go. So, hey, watch the areas when you see spots that start to give you kind of pause, just pay extra attention to that spot, rinse well, dry your hair, take care of it so just want to show you guys that so it's all good peace <laughs> the rest of it is doing well um locks in the back still doing well you know everything just you know continuing on this course uh, so no real updates as far as locks goes for sure other than these baby locks uh, surrounding my crown so all of those coming along the edges there. And then a few we got around the top. So you got one there. Uh, usually I find them like it ain't nothing. Oh yeah, one right here. You can hardly see it. And then in the back there. So it's like little tufts of hair here and there that um, it's gonna be locked. And what's funny is that in the back, I don't edge the back, but there are baby locks that formed in the back and then I guess my edge continues to grow down. So there's more baby hairs forming and new locks forming in the back, which is going to combine to these bigger ones. So uh, that's pretty much what we're looking like in the back, guys. Um, let me see if I can try to turn around loose just a little bit. It's always difficult because I'm in like in a, in a tight spot here. So I know you understand that. That's one side there. Hope that serves you well. As you can see, you can see some of my scalp. I got some gray. See that right there? That's a gray, that's a gray hair right there. So I got some gray for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but it's all good. Uh, still using Dr. Bronner's. Uh, right now, I'm using the Citrus Rotation. Um, that's my go-to shampoo. Uh, so, still using it. And then, moisturizing with olive oil. Um, you know, I think this buildup I've gotten to them mostly when not, not completely uh, rinsing out my hair in the front. Uh, during the time when this was growing or combining. So, just being too lazy in that area. And so that's what you get. Build up. 
And I thought about splitting these apart and tackling it, but I'm going to try to doctor it as much as I can to get to, to take care of that build up there and without having to split the lock. Uh, but, hey, you know, if I got to split it, I'll split it. But I'll give you another update on that as time progresses. Uh, right now, I'm just continuing to wash it, rinse it, and just, you know, wash it good at that point. But, yeah. And I think that's about it, guys. I have no real other real updates other than that. And the thing about this lock here is just disrespectful. It, it comes down in the front and it's just in my face, you know, all the time. Uh, which is one reason why I didn't want to want locks in the front. But, you know, it's all good. I, it's, it takes me getting used to. Other than that, I just kind of put it off to the side or, you know, just so it's out the way. And I'm um, looking like a lion's mane. That's what I got going on here, just a mane. Uh, uh, what I pretty much do when I want to put my hair up, uh, just kind of take these here in the back and wrap that around there. And this one here, same, and just kind of tie it. And if I want to get it out my face, and if I ain't got no hair bands available, it's kind of rocket like so, you know, that's what I pretty much do. Um, and these little hairs, depending on the occasion, um, I may tuck them. If it's, you know, if I'm going to church or something like that, just want a cleaner look, I'll just tuck them. Um, I haven't had an edge up here recently. But, so you see how this looks when I have it pulled back and what it looks like for my edge. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're looking like for the locks. Um, you know, just let them grow. Uh, these edges, just let them do their thing. I got more in the back. It's like I it's somehow, even though I have loose, I've had loose hairs in the back, form baby locks. Somehow, more baby locks form in the back. I don't know what's going on with that, but hey, it is what it is. Um, just you know, keep moving along and keep keeping along. So anyway, guys, just want to give you an update with the hair. Um, that's what we're looking like. Still um, moisturizing with olive oil. Still using Dr. Bronner shampoo. So, but yeah. That's it, guys. Ain't ain't nothing else. That's it. That's all we got with locks, baby. Uh, four years. Just then continue to grow. On the road to 10 years. We're going to see what we're going to do with 10 years. Am I going to trim them or just let them keep going? Or will I just cut them off? Or will I, uh, you know, just get them retwisted? Who knows? No one knows. I don't even know. But until next time, guys, remember, I am JB. Jesus the way. Peace out.